The sun rises with the beautiful ambience of the birds chirping, indicating the start of a new day. Back bandika, back bandua. Safari ambali huanza kwa hatua. Na leo mwanzo tumetua. Ni sehemu iliyo na takriban watu miatano elfu na inayojulikana sana kwa biashara. Basi leo ungana nami kibichi Joshua tukiangazia sehemu hii ya mwanzo mojawapo ya mitaa hapa Eldoret County ya Wasingishu. Today we are at Mwanzo Estate found in Kiplombe Ward, Eldoret Town, Wasingishu County. I have met Mr. Walter Ayot Kea, who happens to be the village elder Mwanzo Estate. Let's hear more from him. Uh, my name is Walter Ayot Kea. I'm a village elder from Mwanzo. Kiplombe Ward in Wasingishu County. Other than that, Mr. Walter Kea describes that he has lived in Mwanzo for more than 27 years and worked in the position of a village elder for the last seven years. Hence, Mr. Kea describes his position and the roles he plays in Mwanzo Estate. I was born in, 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 in Wasangishu County. Our family are the founder member of this town. I know this history of this town as a whole more than anybody else. I was born here, I saw it growing, I saw it being designed when I was young. In Mwanza I've stayed in for 27 years. So I've been a village elder for seven years in Mwanza. Well, as a village elder, my duty is, is to make sure that the security in Mwanza is quite good. And even less to give them residence information coming from the government or any other organization. Urbanization is key. Mr. Kea states the growth of Mwanza as far as infrastructure, business, health, and education are concerned. Well, Mwanza was growing, growing very well, but in the recent times, it has started deteriorating because even the roads are in pathetic situations. The ones which were once tarmacked has been eroded by the floods. Even you, can, you cannot see even a bit of lamb inside it. So really, Mwanza need to be tarmacked since it, it's falling in the town periphery. In fact, as it's growing, but we'd wish if the country government can fast track the, um, the spaces, the public utility, which were meant for the markets. You know, the world now is trade, so that the, the people of Mwanza who um, have got passion with trade trading, they can be, it can be a one-stop shop. Instead of having a linear trading center within the Mwanza roads, it interferes, it interferes the flow of the traffic. While in Mwanza, we managed to meet with Mr. Peter Odiambo, and this is what he had to say about the work he's doing in Mwanzo. Mimi naitwa Peter Odiambo. Nikiwa mwenyeji wa Mwanzo, mimi nimefanya kazi mingi, lakini kianzia kama a youth, nimeanza na mjengo, kidogo, nikatoka huko, nimekuwa na passion about German, so saizi nilienda shule nikasoma German uh, and also tourism management as a German speaking tour guide but due to corona when ilikuja saizi mimi ni tutor wa German nafunza tut uh, nafanya tutoring of German language online and physical that's all since uh, na, saizi nafanya kama kwa gas saizi kwa sababu sina classes leo unajua hiyo lazima ujitume uwezi ongoja at serikali kusaidie kwa sababu we have been there before and you can tell that uh, lazima ujitume tu Also here in Mwanzo we met Daniel who is a butcher Let's get to know more about him Mimi mm naitwa -hmm. Daniel Wafula ni muzaji nyama mwanzo bismillah bichari biashara tumefanya sasa hii miaka 3 mwanzo nimekaa mwanzo miaka 5 apart from other economic activities in the business sector we meet Jen who is a business woman 
she sells groceries and explains to have worked in this business for the past 25 years. Moreover, she also said that this business has been of much essential to her because she has used it to educate her children despite the struggle in addition to the hard conditions and the unfavoring conditions of the business environment, she explains the challenges affecting her business. This further makes us to understand the relationship between her business and the government as she explains that the government doesn't give any tangible help to the business people of her kind. Water being a necessity and a basic need, Jane explains that they always buy water from the borehole or tap water from the elders, hence making life difficult. There's water, but the problem is inadequate. The occasion where there's no water in those pipes, there are hours and days, which has been designed by the elders company. There were people in Mansour receive water. The advantage of Mansour we've got a sewage system, so all the discharges they are going to sewage automatically. So there's no, only attempts that are blockages in those of your system. But the Eldoas company usually come to rectify them, the technician from the Eldoas. Also, the people of Mwanza collect their garbage at one place and it is further collected by a dumping vehicle to the dumping site. We've got uh, enough primary schools. So around the we've got secondary schools, around we go to Moja, um, uh, Moja um, secondary school one in within the Mamoso, primary school we've got township, we've got Saint Patrick, surrounding there Saint Mary's. So you we've got Baptist uh, primary school and secondary school. You see we've got Ma, that is enough uh, as per now. So within Mamoso estate, we've got West Clinic, we catch up uh, catering for both maternity and other. Health, uh, health issues. We've got a Moja facility which is a private, so we were not badly off. The problem from the youth is we don't have the facility like field open field where the youths can practice or exercise their talents. That's the problem. Yeah. So, excuse me, I there is no support from the government in terms of facility and guidance. Unajua. Although kuna ile Ministry of Youth docket kwa county government, uh, to now hope that going forward, the one who is in that docket at least to mourn, like for example, Ms. J. Juani Nane Nakuaga Pale. Yes, so at least they should step up to Jaribu Kona Youths. You know, we are the next generation. So enough, uh, they pull up their socks as, as a government or as a ministry. Security has proved to be a tough sector in many estates. Despite its importance, let's get to learn about security at Mwanzo Estate. Um, 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 there are cases of insecurity in Mwanzo, but a long time before, it used to be a very, very serious case. I've tried as a village elder, I'd come with the expertise from other countries which I've been visiting. And we sat in the security meeting in Wazengeshu. We were allowed to put a gated community in Mwanzo. That is the reason why we come in Mwanzo. You'll find a small, small gate in, during the daytimes that just open. And during night times, we close them, we remain with one gate. 
even though there are still remaining around four openings which are bringing in security in Mwanza. Otherwise, if you can get living assistance from elsewhere to build those four gates remaining, I think Mwanza will have a total security. I've tried to reduce the insecurity in Mwanza, even to empower people socioeconomically, particularly the youths. On the matter to do with the security of Mwanzo, the business lady explains that the security is a big problem affecting them, hence making them close their business early. Usiku, usiku, uwezi kama mbaka usiku, so nafunga mapema saa mocha wende. Usiku kama mbaka usiku, siyo kusuli sana. She concludes by giving a word of advice to the people willing to start their own business, encouraging them to take heart, to be patient, and be optimistic in their business vision. Biasa ni kufumiria tu kwa sio kila siku tunapata faida. Leo tayari tupata faida kesho sipate. Sasa ni inatakana mtu mwenye anafumiria anga. Besides what Mr. Peter Odhiambo says, he tells us more about the engagement of the youth in Mwanzo and how the government helps to support them. Serikali hapo kidogo serikali ime, imelegea e, na sio mzuri kwa sababu youths wengi hapa mwanzo most of them they are doing drugs yeah? and since hakuna job they are idle so unapata wanajaribu kufanya kitu yenye tawaki busy of which it's wrong this one we trace it back to the parentage yeah? yeah so when you are idle your mind becomes the workshop of a devil so anafanya vitu weird weird because gava by the way i support mambo na my youths like i've not heard of any circles bado atujasikia lakini tunaongoja hii mambo ya hasla fund tuone kama it is promising because the government it may kick off very well ya chini ya kiongozi ya koti moja tuko optimistic in the last government kulikuwa na ile ile project ya mayuths ile ilikuwa ya kazi mtaani kazi mtaani squeeze it noni melegea kidogo sana uh, it's not there anymore but we hope it can come back so that our mayuths ilikuwa ime keep watu busy crime rate ilikuwa imeenda chini lakini since that one is not there anymore unapata kumekuwa na wizi for example jana kumekuwa two incidences of people you know ili happen that is so unfortunate yeah. however there have been more issues of insecurity in Mwanzo area which cover more number of youth who are around without work or something to do and now we get more details from Mr Peter security due to of course lack of employment and parentage wazazi pia kidogo sikuizi wamelegea sana the matter to do the security of mwanzo the business lady explains that the security is a big problem affecting them hence making them close their business early usiku usiku uwezi kama mpaka usiku so nafunga mapema saa moja uende usiku kama mpaka usiku sio kusu mr peter father encourages that the youth are the leaders of tomorrow seeing that the youth can work hard make their own money under a good favorable security system that can help them to advance their future lives ile advice ambayo naweza pea mtu ama ma youths tujitume kabisa because hata kwa biblia wanasema god helps those who help themselves with cat we even wanangoja mungu kusaidia kusaidia lazima uweke actions kama vile Paul alikuwa anaambia watu wake ambao alikuwa anahubiria alikuwa anasema faith without action is dead so lazima sisi my youths tuweke action tujitume tusiongojee serikali tujaribu kufanya kitu kama asla funds wataactivate nasikia from 1st of December wacha my youths tujitume let us form groups wacha tukue na maproposal watu wako na ideas let them form these groups na they go for it moving on how do we involve citizens in public participation the promulgated uh, 2010 constitution it says that less the power of the constitution is vested to the citizens so it gives the ordinary citizens to bring out their views on whatever services they need from the government that is the reason why public participation is being done officers or the committee concerned go and sit down and filter 
and the filter, and even let's assemble all the, the, the suggestions which has been given here. So that they'll come uh, for, uh, for the second time, so that they see which priority. How do you see Mwanzo in the next 10 years? And what are your likes and dislikes about Mwanzo? You see, as the time goes, you know even human beings, is a, human uh, minds is electrified. And innovation comes according to the e e e years or ages in which we are. So that one will be determined with the resources available in the county government and uh, according to the CIDP of each and every county. It will depend with the locations and the proposal of the citizens and even the residents living in Monzo and the availability of the, those resources. First, it is near to the town. The designs of the, the houses, uh, the estate is good. Uh, uh, most of the people there are friendly and lovely. What I hate of Monzo is that now a bit of this insecurity inside it and even now a uh, water problem being rationed you can find it even thrice a week well Monza is a very good place only with two issues a bit of insecurity and a road infrastructure due to unavoidable circumstances we were not able to meet Mwanzo area chief instead we managed to communicate with the chief administrators Lydia Wangeshi and Geoffrey Gategi. And this is what they had to say about Mwanzo. Elder Geoffrey Gategi, and Mimi Mukaji wa Kirimani sublocation, our location here Kirimani, Katika Estate Hapa in Aitwa Mountain View, and Baraka Estate. Mimi ni village administrator wa kijiji hicho kinaitwa Kambi Mwangi. Na nina msaidizi wa chief katika mambo ambayo inatukubwa katika kijiji na wakaaji ambao wanakaa pale. Ni tukubwa ni kwa administrator watu hawa ndio wakae wakiwa kitu kimoja kama dugu na dada na kila wakati tunawahimiza kwamba jirani yako uwezi kumtafuta lakini Mungu ndiye mtafuta. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio kazi nzito ambayo tunayoifanya na haja mambo ambayo tunayoyapata pale chini tunamuupdate chief immediate ile mambo ikitokea kama ni hawezi au mambo mengine inakuwa na wakati wa kumwambia chief katika kijiji kuna hii na hii ambayo imetendeka ndio kazi ya administrator au village administrator Naitwa mm. Lydia Ongesh. Okay mimi ni mama wa mtaa kule Mwanzo. Zo nimeishi hmm, more than 20 years. Kwa zamani Mwanzo ilikuwa bush. Lakini sasa watu wamekuja wamenunua, wameendelesha, wamejenga. Hadi sasa saa hizi ni mahali pazuri sana. Yeah. Mi napenda mwanzo pale sababu watu wana heshima zao na kitu nye nachukia mwanzo ni kama hiyo vitu uizi na wale nye wanauza kama pombe ya ramu sababu wale wanakuja kuza pombe ya ramu ni inachangia kuwaribu watoto yetu Chembe na chembe mkate huwa jina ni mwanzo na kilicho na mwanzo hakikosi mwisho basi kwa sasa hatuna budi ila kukunja jamvi jina langu ni kibichi Joshua